Hello, my name is Staff Sergeant James Kim. I'm an oboist with the U.S. Army band Pershing Zone. Today, I want to talk about the oboe embouchure. Embouchure is the position and use of the lips, tongue, and teeth in playing with an instrument. Single reed instrument like clarinet, they use teeth to stay on the mouthpiece, but oboe, double reed instrument, which means it has two sides of the cane put together, could be a little more tricky. Individuals with a different state, shape of mouth, teeth, and jaw could, could have different way of forming the embouchure, but here is base, basic step to form lips. Let's start with the reed only. Take a look at the reed, the very th thin part on the top, we call that tip. I would use the tip of the reed only on the bottom lip, roll in, and say, um, mm. let's start, let's try to smile. You can see that your corners are going towards your ear and your middle part gets really tightened. This is what, not what we want. Let's try to frown after we roll in. Tip of the reed only, roll in and frown. You can see we're tucking in the corners inward. This is what we want. And after that, let's try to say O oh, with your lips closed. So roll in, frown, say O. Oh. This is how you form the embouchure. With the corners tightened, you're creating cushy place for reed to steady on. So you should practice this with your read only two to three minutes every day in front of a mirror. You don't even have to open up your instrument. You can practice with your read only. This is basically like exercise. So muscles around your mouth needs to be worked on. So once you practice that for a while, you should be able to do this without your hand. When blowing air through the reed, you should be able to make steady pitch of the C. So that will be your goal. The steady air will help you produce a good quality sound with a nice tone. So make sure you have a good posture and keep the airflow. And if you have any question or trouble making sound, please go ask your teachers to help you. Good luck.